Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. Today we're going to go into a little bit of our business venture we did in the first act of it's a The Mine. We got a message from our partner that we have been having shipments stolen, but come meet him because he believes he has a lead. So, I've never heard of a Danish who's been there. We're going to. I don't imagine your people travel between islands much. Not really, no. I wouldn't start waterproofing your wagons then. I don't think Lemarin is ready for the Danish. What do you mean? Would we upset the people there? It's not the kind of place where one turns down a tumble. Even refuse a fortune teller and they'd run your lot out of town. If you don't remember, the mine originally, in the first act, had trouble with dragons. Now we're having trouble with stolen shipments. I thought you had things under control. I told you I would handle this, and I did. Now, after a year of raids on our shipments, I finally caught one of the culprits. One of our miners, Sabine has been leaking information. Do you know him? He claims to be from your hometown in Ferelden. I would like you to get this festering sore to divulge who is behind the theft. When you are ready, I will bring Sabine to you. Who is this man? I would not expect you to recall every piss pot from your past. I don't like friends I've never met. Well, he brags to his fellows that he grew up with you in Lothering. Bring Sabine back to my place. Excellent idea. I will get him now. Here is the dung pile I caught leaking next week's shipment schedule. He won't tell me who he's working with. Who else has been screwing <coughs> me over? Tell me, you ratting mongrel. You're too easy on him, you bear. Don't pull your punches. Like this. That's gotta suck, that guy, because we did not take off our gauntlets. I'm surprised he still has his jaw on, right? Pathetic. I leave this bastard in your capable hands. Get me when he's ready to talk. I beg you, Monsieur, don't hit me again. Us Lothering folks should stick together. What made you betray your employer? Before the blight, my family had a good life in Lothering. Clean home, fertile land, friends, and cook while we lived in a hovel. People spit on us, and some days we went hungry. Lothering's dead and burnt. You'll share the same fate if you don't start talking. Yes, Monsieur. Please don't hit me. As soon as I tell Hubert what he wants to know, he'll kill me or throw me in prison. My life's not worth much, but my family. I only wanted to give my wife and son a better life. This guy doesn't understand. When you don't tell me what I want to know, it just makes me want to hit you. Oh! Please, please stop. I'll tell you everything. Even where I hid some gold at the bone pit. Hawk, this is Lily of the Coterie. Given the importance of stopping the cargo robberies, I have enlisted a consultant. Consultant? Sure. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Well, Doug, are you ready to bark now? I just want it to be over. There's an ambush planned tonight at Dietrich Crossing. Tonight? That leaves you barely enough time to intercept them. You had best leave immediately. We'll protect your precious shipment, but make sure you have the coterie's payment. Want me to deal with this runt? Free of charge. I'll drop him in a ditch on our way out. Yes, take him. With my blessing. I assume my partner will not object. My Ferelden brother gets a free pass. 
Let him go. And if I find out you harmed him. But he... Oh, have it your way this once. But threatening your partner is no way to succeed in this business. Oh, thank you, Miss Hayes. I know I don't deserve it, but thank you. We're wasting time. If you find naught but corpses at the ambush, it won't be my fault. Well, we're too late. Went well as expected. But we gained the information we wanted. Sort of. So we end up sadly showing up just a little bit late. This honestly, oh, that's, at this point, really becoming the same thing because what we're facing now most of the time is mostly humans for a fair chunk until we do certain quests. I can't remember which ones they are. We end up starting to encounter more along the other lines of enemies. Who is he? He's in the coterie. One of that damned fool Bracco's men. So your organization is behind this. We got explicit orders not to. Hubert's been good on his payments. If Brecker ordered this, the rest of his life will be very short and painful. Tell and in case you couldn't tell by this point, the coterie is kind of like the mob. Is lucky Pay protection. Brecker must be involved. Whoever Cat things won't happen to you. Will pay. The next idiot will think twice before They're not like the Dwarf and Carta, I know which is more along officer. the lines of Find me in the undercity. Piss them off. You're liable to end up with the dagger in you. Why didn't you just call the guards? I'm afraid the matter can't be handled by guards now. Aveline could help you. She's very good at making thieves give things back. I think it's because she's so tall. This is beyond even Aveline's power, I'm sorry to say. Are you sure? Have you seen her hit people? Meryl and her innocence in the DVD. I think that's the word. Don't let them get away! You coterie. One of Lily's friends. Lily was one of ours. She was working for you, and now she's dead. You get one chance. Did you kill her? Lily died as she lived, in the gutter. And now you louts will join her. You wouldn't do that. The coterie would have. There are ways to get out of this peacefully. But we're not a peaceful person. Though doing it this way does make a little bit of a uh, plot hole. A really story contrivance which makes no sense of how we understand where to go next. Because there's no note or anything like that. It's just quest marker updates to over here. If you talk to them, they end up telling you that, well, Brecker's hideout is like right over there. You can have it. set up it works fairly well with having Isabella and Sebastian mainly because is this, how 
powers that Sebastian has for his skills and abilities. They're not that great on the damage side. But to start out with, he has about a 50% chance to crit on his attacks. Whereas Isabella can have whatever you want. But that leads to be a very nice balance between consistent damage and pretty good burst damage. Which helps out in this situation. Where there's a whole bunch of small people. You must be Brecker. And you're that lice covered refugee. Hope you enjoyed saying that. Those are the last words you'll ever speak. And again, because of the way we are handling many of the situations we get into with the death of everyone involved, some things end up being slightly off on how they end up being handled with the story, such as we can end up learning more about why Brecker was attacking us. If we actually talk to him. Otherwise we don't. And what you're supposed to do here, if your quest marker, marker doesn't glitch, is you just go back to Hubert. I found the thieves responsible for the cargo theft. I put them out of business. Excellent. With that resolve, the mine's profits will soar. For now, partner, please be sure to visit our workers occasionally. You have a knack for keeping them happy. It, well, I was kind of short and help him out. All right. Let's just get this over with. So we're going to pick up this other quest that's in high town here. It shows up just as soon as you can actually walk around high town. You weren't? You weren't going to tell me to comfort the needy and give freely of myself. From what I hear, you already give yourself quite freely. Ooh, you got me there. You! This is your fault! You and that blighter, Beric Tephras! Everybody is blaming fault. us for things that we didn't do. I don't even know who you are. Yevon, member in good standing of the Dwarven Merchants Guild. Not that it really matters to people like you. Keep on insulting me and my friends, and you'll lose that wagging tongue, little man. Typical. Exactly the boneheaded bravado they're drawn to. My sons are lost in the deep roads because of stories about you, your sodding glory and treasure. Don't you dare blame her. We both know this was Iwin's doing. If you want to keep your job, shut your mouth, woman. Your boys are grown men. It was their own decision. I'm no one's nursemaid. Let your boys get out of this themselves. You're the only one who knows where they went. They were following the path of your expedition. Please help me find them. Don't let my boys die down if there. If our expedition Your path was expedition that well known, how are we the only one that knows where they went? They went alone, the fools. Just my three boys against every dark spawn in the deep roads. I won as Yevon's middle son. The whole thing was his idea. And that and Marin were just following kind of doesn't make sense, old man. The greedy bastard didn't want to hire anyone else if it meant he had to share the spoils. Sounds familiar. I thought coming to the surface meant I would never have to face losing my sons to the dark spawn. Hopefully we can save your sons before their idiocy gets them killed. Thank you, Masser. Those boys are my life. They entered the deep roads using the same passage you did. Please find them. 
I will see you rewarded for your efforts. We'll take care of that. But first, Isabella owes us an apology. I never have affairs with my crew. Once they see you naked with your ass in the air, they think they don't have to take orders. <laughs> Men. Oh. You have to be twice as tough to earn half as much respect. So did the crew member mutiny? I mean, after you... You know. <laughs> this oh. cutscene is... I had the offending member removed. Strange. It's in the background. Sebastian is kind I... of... Standing Look, there. You have a lot to answer for. Oh, bugger. I knew this was coming. I'm sorry I abandoned you in the fade. That was foolish of me. I mean, I didn't even get the ship in the end. So you admit it. You'll betray a friend for a ship. Hey, not just any ship. I could see the hard line of the hull, run my hands along the elegant curve of her prow. Oh! The demon was in my head. Nothing but the ship made sense. Everything you say proves your weakness. Well, we can't all be perfect like you. That would make the world too boring, wouldn't it? I already said I was sorry. What more do you want? Would you like me to clean your privy for a month? Shit. I really shouldn't have said that. Is this getting you any closer to your ship? We also have a gift for Barrett, huh? so... I just don't understand why you're... Let's drop that off of him after this conversation. Then go get Meryl's apology. What's keeping you here? Mostly the blooming rose. I'm paid up to the end of the year. I'd hate not to use it. The brothel? What? Women can't go to brothels too? You're just not using your imagination. Oh, look. Now you are. You're cute when you're blushing. I've got something for you, Varric. My father's signet ring. Where did you find it? Bartrand pawned it off to pay for the expedition. What's this about, Hawk? This belongs to whoever is responsible for House Tethrus. That's you, Nurse. Thanks. I'm in real danger of forgetting that. I guess I should be dealing with that pile of letters from my Orzammar agent. Poor Sod's been kept out of the city for six months. If Haramont isn't killed soon, he'll be writing me novels. Thanks, Hawk. I promise I'll think of you whenever I argue pointlessly with some blighter. Well, it's been a while since I've been in Meryl's bedroom area. I, I can't believe I turned on you. With the demon in the fade, I'm so sorry. Masaranus. I'll understand if you can't forgive me. The next time you betray me, I'll cut you down. Meryl, what's with the broken mirror? I, I would never. Masaranus. I've been so careful in all my dealings with spirits until now to make such an obvious mistake. It frightens me. It takes so little for a mage to fall. What do you do to protect yourself from demons? The Keeper taught me. In the Fade, you must believe nothing but yourself. Everything there is a lie, or a trick, or a trap. I knew not to trust, and I don't know why I did. What made you give in? It felt like every word the demon spoke reached out and pulled at my heart. I didn't want to believe it. But I just... had to. You could have killed Fainrail, or me, or become an abomination. But I didn't. That is one. You stopped me. Really? Fancy broken mirror, Meryl. Thank the creators you were there. 
It won't happen again. I'll make sure of that. Well, next time, let's go save some really, really dumb dwarf kids. Yeah. <laughs>